It's oh nuts. boy. Uh, this is what you've been doing. I, uh, this is, man. I actually haven't even got to log. Well, I have logged in to like get some footage for video yeah. stuff. I've not been able to properly play because I've just been so. I've been so busy, and then also Mountain Blade Bannerlord got in my head, <laughs> and I need to get that out of my head quickly. That game is like fucking crack, everybody. Uh, but this is this is all wild. It's what Matt was covering the the, the channel today. Um, so you can get a lot of XP. Uh, you can get just quite a lot of stuff with the pre patch event. So uh, the first thing then to note is the XP requirement changes. This is the humongous nerf that averages basically at 75% to what you need from levels 50 through 60, right? Mm. Uh, it, it It's insane. I mean, if actually, yeah, I guess um, if you were, if you were used to Winds of Winter with the anniversary buff, that's now the default ish yeah so, you know, it's so much easier right so uh, your 50 to 60 will be mega 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 quick that's right. awesome i think this is obviously blizzard thinking hang on a second if we allow decent xp inside the patch and we also reduce these requirements then people will get an army of alts ready for this expansion that is alt friendly and then they, they maybe think to themselves hmm legion did, did people have a lot of characters going into legion good could that have done anything to maybe make them play it more? And seemingly they're, yeah. you know, they're doing good off that. So yeah. the primal, or go, go ahead. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, and I think we'll get into this a little bit later as we talk, uh, as we go over the interviews and stuff, because Dakar has a nice TLDR, a little summary of them for us uh, to talk about. But I believe it was Ian was talking to, I can't remember who it was. Might have been Wowhead, but talking about the kind of philosophy change they had about how much players should be allowed to play, how much they have to play. And it seems like they've definitely taken this into heart with some of the XP stuff, because I feel like Blizzard, I feel like Blizzard of the past would have went, or Blizzard of some certain eras would have just went, sorry, you're leveling too fast. <sighs> oh, but that devalues your connection to your alts. Mm. And it also uh, kind of reduces your overall play time in leveling them. It kind of takes the, takes the joy away from that. And it also does, to an extent, does disincentivize boosting if you can get that quick. Ah, okay. We'll nerf the XP. We don't want to feel cheap. We don't want leveling to feel like our thumbnail said today. We don't want it to feel like cheating. But this time they're like, well, it's an off-friendly expansion. Eh, whatever. And it's even things we talked about in the video where you can just spam it. Where the Legion's pre-patch events were crazy, but they were on a rolling cycle. Yeah. So it was like, oh, you do this and then go away. This is like, you can just sit there for like, obviously there's some downtime every three hours. But you could just sit there for three hours, spam AOE, pick up mobs and get XP and be like, yeah, you. yeah, you want to play the game and have fun? Yeah, work for it. Is this faster than the other way? Probably, yeah, go for it. We don't give a shit. We just want you to play the game and have fun. No faults. There's a little bit of that coming through in the decision making where you would also expect just, um, where's the fun please? Mm. I mean, the fun police are still there because you look at the critter toy and it's like got an obscene cooldown. You're like, okay, okay, well, the toy fun police are still around. But the other fun police seem to be kind of, seem to be taking a back seat for now, maybe. Hopefully that continues. Yeah. Um, yeah, so no, it's, man, it's, it's good stuff, right? For the, for the storms then. I mean, obviously you can see them on the world map. Go there. Kill the boys. Uh, is there much else to say in those? I think our video really covered it. You can obviously get that 252 gear. If you do want to LARP around as a uh, fucking medieval knight, get the get the plate one. Yes. Now that said, you will be able to get uh, other colorations of that just from Shadow, or not, oh, uh -oh, not Shadowlands, from uh, from Dragonflight because that's just one of the, is it the leveling gear set? or the, That's one of the gear I think sets it's one, anyway. Yeah. And that actually brings me to another quick little topic that I don't think is in our notes. I was just taking a look through the appearances tab and Blizzard have finally actually went to the effort of having the leveling sets in there, like the dungeon sets, all the crafted stuff. Like if you actually look in your, um, in the sets, part of your transmog window, you can see the stuff that's coming up and they've included way more than just like tier and PVP, which is what they did in the past. Yeah. They just, and that's one of another thing where they're clearly clued in and paying attention and have time to fix things. Obviously some things are not fixed would will always be the case. I know there's a couple outliers that people always bring up, but you just go, hey, there's better wardrobe, war wardrobe? better wardrobe and transmog. That's got a tab that shows all the sets in our game. And I don't know, I don't know if that was manually done or if that's like some like uh, data set internally that it was relying on or if Blizzard had to build that again, but at least someone in Blizzard went, 
hey, we can just put these sets into the set window. And it's going to take, probably took someone like an afternoon to do. Like, I'll just do it. Why? Because everyone will be happy. And then, obviously, collection gameplay. Hey, look, you can f see that you've completed this appearance set in game without using an add on. Holy shit, that's, that makes the game better for most people. Yeah. Wild. Next part of this. I did not know about this. Matt, this is bonkers. Yeah, I. <laughs> it's weird. I didn't even notice this, but it's good. Yeah. Uh, so basically, the green line here. Um, I assume, yeah, this is yep. from Wowhead. The so green here is the item level to like your actual character level of the heirloom gear. So green is Shadowlands, blue is Dragonflight, and you can see that the scaling is far, far, far more smooth. Now, one thing I wonder if the mob scaling is also more up here or something. Uh, but mm. anyway, some people are saying this does mean you generally feel like your heirlooms maybe are a bit more worth upgrading. So, uh, I think one of the things is that now means they scale better than greens and blues, which was kind of a problem where sometimes you get gear that's not, you know, it's, uh, you, you literally get a bit of gear that's slightly higher level in your heirloom and go, shit, do I equip it or not? Yeah. But I do think it actually does have a, um, I do think it has a, uh, like you said about the mob scaling, I think that was intentional because I've noticed in pre-patch at least, I was kind of like dying to some big quest mobs as a rogue. Not literally dying, but like I was like, where's my health going? What the, wait, am I, do I have to like pop crimson vial and gouge stuff? <laughs> do I have to, it was a, it was a, a rare and it was one of the, the pig rare in Drusfar. And I was fighting it, and I was in like full. Um, I was in full heirlooms. I was like, okay, I'll just fight this, no problem. And then I found I actually had to gouge it, and then blind it. I wait for most of the blind cooldown or most of the blind duration to go through, so I could get another bit of crimson vial, so I could actually heal myself up enough to solo this rare. And this is in a world where I remember soloing that rare, and like other characters, like boom dead. And it wasn't like it was doing no damage. It's like, oh yeah, it's killing him a bit more aggressive, so. You know, you can still quest fast as hell. But I was like, oh yeah, I actually have to kind of play the game sometimes for the quest mobs. Maybe that was an isolated experience because of like a weird level or something. But it very much felt like, oh yeah, I kind of have to play the game a little bit more than I have in recent times. Like, sorry. It's interesting from Night Stalkers looking at chat. Uh, yeah. The loot item level and vendor value are also busted. If you look through Hellfire Citadel, it's either item level 45 or 140. <laughs> Yeah, they broke it. <laughs> yes, ah. there may be some turbulence. Ah, so Netstalker says BFA mobs get buffed by sixty percent, almost triple their pre patch HP. Well, there that well that explains why that pig took so long to kill. Yep. <laughs>